This first video is for the weekly procedures. There's three weekly procedures written up in the manual. So when you go to the manual, you can open up to section 3, that starts on page 10 of the manual. The first procedure is chemical tank inspection. The second procedure is the sediment blow-off and system check, pressure check. And finally, the third inspection is a weekly controller inspection. These three inspections are done weekly, and any discrepancy from the requirements should be adjusted or taken care of. Um, there is a form that would be filled out. You put your date, and you put the percentage that you find on the chemical tanks, and the pressures you read for cut, o cut off and cut on. I'm sorry, cut on and cut off. Um, and just a check mark to show that you did the controller inspection. The chemical tank inspection involves checking to make sure that there's still enough liquid and no leaks around the tanks. So any puddling down underneath the tanks would be a problem. That's no, nothing there. The, uh, the procedure says make sure you have at least six inches of liquid. Well, six inches of liquid would be approximately 30% on the tank. But whenever the level drops below 50%, then I would put 50% uh, of a, a mixture into the tank. You do that by, let's say that the level in the tank was 38%. Go to the tank that's low and take the cap off. There's a childproof lock there. You have to squeeze the cap to get past. And then when you take the cap off, you say it's at 38%. Actually, it's at 97%, but uh, we'll go with 38%. Let's pretend. And we put in a half a gallon of the ACH chemical. Pour that into the tank. And as soon as you do, then you go to the hose bib. You take the hose, which is sitting in a drained pipe right there. You put the hose into the tank and you fill it up to add 50% of the quantity that you had measured. So if it was 38%, you're going to bring the level up to 88% because you added half a gallon. And the half a gallon is enough for half a tank. So from 38 to, to 88 is half a tank. All right, so that's all there is to the chemical um, inspection, chemical tank inspections. The controller inspections, the two controllers control the charcoal filter and the sediment filter. They refresh themselves every week and you can adjust the program the refresh time. Currently it's set for um, every seven days at 5 a.m. on Wednesday for one of them and 5 a.m. on Thursday for the other one. It's a personal preference when you do it. If you're sleeping and the pump is running it may wake you up but 5 a.m. works for us. So on the controllers, they each flash a single digit number. That's how many days until it does its automatic refresh. And they flash the time, the current clock time. It's 4.30 in the afternoon, so 4.28 actually. So they're both flashing the same time. Time is adjustable using the buttons and, and in the manual, you will find the procedures for how to do that further back in the manual. Um, you're looking for leaks around the controller, anything around the controller that may be leaking, any leaks down under the tank, and if the clocks are correct and the number of days till the next refresh is correct and you haven't done anything else to modify the system, you're good on the controller inspection. The other thing to do is to blow off sediment. Now, this retention tank in the back, the large tank, is where chlorine and aluminum chlorohydrate sit in the water at rest. And the aluminum chlorohydrate precipitates out any particulate matter that is in the water and drops it to the bottom. So there's sediment in the bottom of that tank and weekly you want to blow out the sediment. The blue tank is a bladder tank for maintaining pressure on the system. So when you do blow out the system, you're going to take measurements of the pressure. There's a pressure gauge there. It says that the pressure is currently, looks like 48 PSI. 
Well, the range should be 38 to 70, so it's in that range. When you blow it out, you're going to use this T-handle that's made especially for this purpose. It has a notch cut in the bottom of it so that it can go over that valve down there on the floor. So you reach that valve with the T-handle and once you get it on the valve, sorry about my hand being in the way there, you can turn this T-handle to open the valve and you can watch the pressure gauge from above the T-handle. So watching the pressure gauge, you want to know when does the, the pump motor turn on? What pressure? So when I open this, we'll watch the gauge. It came on at around 38. I'll leave this, I'm going to leave this open for about 15 seconds to blow off the sediment from the bottom of the tank. And then I will close it. When I do close it, the pump will continue to run. I stow the T-handle here in the wall panel. The pump is continuing to run. And while it's running, I'm going to get a little bit quieter area here, the pressure is building up in the system. I want to know when the pump cuts off, so I need to be over there by the gauge and watch the gauge when the pump stops running. It should be around 70 or 68 PSI. Right now it's uh, it's climbing up to 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70. So that's a successful test of the pressures. And at the same time we got rid of the sediment. Those are your weekly inspections. Um, I'll try to do another video for quarterly inspections at another time.